Okay, so we understand how JavaScript goes about storing data in both primitive and composite data types. Here, I have a variable called cars that stores an array of objects. And I simply have two objects in this array that both represent an individual car. And I would like now to be able to take this data and add it or somehow integrate it into my HTML file so that when we go to the browser to our web page, we'll be able to see some of this data in there. And to do this, I'm going to have to manipulate the DOM. Remember, we stated a few lessons back that HTML builds the initial DOM, the initial do document object model that our browser uses to render our website. CSS grabs elements from that document object model to style them, and then JavaScript dynamically changes some of those elements within our DOM according to the instructions that we write. So this is the point now where we're going to write some instructions that actually change some objects of our DOM. But of course, before we actually write some JavaScript code to change the DOM, we first need to take a look at what the DOM is to begin with. And in this case, we have a very simple index.html file, and that's a very simple DOM to start out with that really only includes our HTML elements, our head and body elements, and then inside our body, we have this div element that has an ID of main. And so this div element is a pretty logical spot to go ahead and add some additional DOM elements using JavaScript rules. So I'm going to go back into my app.js file and I'm going to write a JavaScript rule that manipulates the DOM to add the make of both of our cars. So I want to add the make as a paragraph element to our document object model uh, using JavaScript. And this is one way that I can do that. So what I did here is say document, that's our web document, that's our, that's our page, dot get element by ID, and then I pass in this parameter of main. So I pass in the ID of the element that I want to select using JavaScript, and then I grab this property of that element, the dot inner HTML property, and I assign it a new value of this string here. And what this string does is it creates a paragraph element, then it adds to it the make property in the zeroth element of our cars array. So that's going to be this first element. It's going to grab this first element. I'm selecting this first element from our array and specifically this make property and simply concatenating it to this string that we're going to assign into our inner HTML. Then I'm going to concatenate some more uh, substrings, including the closing paragraph and a break element. Then I'm going to go ahead and add another opening paragraph tag. And then the second element of our array, I'm going to add that make property. So I'm selecting the uh, element at the first, at the uh, index one of our cars array and then grabbing its make property just like I did with the car element at the zero index and finally closing that, uh, that paragraph tag that I opened here. So in effect what I'm doing is I'm grabbing our main element, that div element, and I'm setting its inner HTML to this. I'm setting it to two paragraphs uh, broken up by this break element and then within each paragraph I'm just simply appending the make of each of our cars into that paragraph. So let's go to our browser and see what the result is. And just as we'd expect, we have two elements, two paragraph elements, each containing the make of our two cars in our array. Now that's pretty cool what we just did. We created some content on our web page using JavaScript rather than just HTML. And what this means is that we can now create dynamic web pages. We can create pages that change based on different inputs and different types of data and different values of data um, in our web page. And we're really just getting started with this. In the next few videos, we're going to take a look at what else we can do using JavaScript and interacting with our document object model. But this is really the core of what JavaScript is great for, for doing is grabbing elements from our document object model from our DOM and changing them around based on uh, certain values of the data, based on certain uh, actions that our users take. 
and all sorts of things. I mean, this is incredibly powerful stuff. So hopefully uh, you're starting to see just how valuable and how useful JavaScript can be. But let's go on to the next video and continue learning about how to manipulate the DOM using JavaScript.